Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. As Switch emulation progresses in leaps and bounds, it's starting to become hard to keep up and that's why I'm here to keep you updated and in the know. The Switch emulation development train has shown no signs of slowing down and in fact seems to be speeding up for both the Yuzu and Ryu Jinx teams. Going from the early days of 1FPS homebrew titles to full speed gameplay, 3D visuals with ever growing accurate emulation. Jumping right into it with the titles you care about from AAA to first party to console exclusives. If you missed my earlier coverage, you can check out Super Mario Odyssey going in-game in Yuzu right now. A brand new game which now boots and one that many of you will be very happy about is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The current status is that we see a loading icon screen which eventually crashes but one thing we've learned by now is that it always starts with an icon which becomes the menu then before you know it we are in game. This has been the pattern again and again with progress often being mind-blowingly fast. Community moderator and developer assistant Hexagon pointed out that just before Xenoblade crashes, 3D data is sent and readable by RenderDoc showing Pyra's head, Rex's helmet and his texture map. So it's just a matter of time now. Next up we have ARMS, a first party Nintendo Switch title. ARMS, the crazy fighting game that now manages to go fully in game. Naturally at this point we expect to see low FPS and buggy visuals, but 3D graphics are being rendered regardless of accuracy. Another incredible example of how Switch development is getting closer and closer to an experience comparable to the Switch itself. Following ARMS is Kirby Star Allies, a Switch exclusive which is now capable of booting into the menu with what you might say are a few visual hiccups or alternatively a fantastic 80s style music visualizer. Either way, this is as far as we get with Kirby today in Yuzu for now. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a worldwide hit at this point, simultaneously released on both the Wii U and Switch, highly popularized on the Wii U emulator Simu, which arguably surpassed what the Switch could deliver as an experience. Well, depending on your point of view, one thing we do know is that Breath of the Wild gets in-game right now in Yuzu. It's able to go from menu to loading to in-game. Once in-game, it's perfect if you love the colour of red. The current situation is a solid red image, but we are in-game. As always for now, focus more on key progress rather than specific FPS, graphics or sound, especially on the much more challenging AAA 3D titles. As has already been demonstrated, many indie titles and simpler games already run very well. To top off the AAA list is Bayonetta 2, capable of going in-game with, as you may expect, somewhat challenging visuals. Will Switch emulation become the place to play Bayonetta 2 on PC? Time will tell. These breakthroughs truly are fantastic and I urge you to imagine just a few months down the line. Thanks to Hexagon and BSOD for providing the screenshots. To finish up, there's also a whole host of smaller titles now running which you can check out on John God Games' channel. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. Complaining Gamer social media links are also there. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like. If you didn't dislike, and to stay up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.